What's up everyone? It's Ninja Cat. Yes, that's right. I'm back. And what has it been? Like two months? But I'd say like to start this off, I'd say it was all worth it. And the reason why was because while you guys were wondering where I have been for those two months, I was working on something cool just for a holiday season and just for you guys. See, around the internet, there's been a lot of talk between the Iron Man X-Far concept, but not a lot of people have actually made this concept into a tangible object. However, I do know one person that has made it, and their suit, although impressive, has not been very flexible and also very mobile. So that's exactly what we did. We took the concept of Far and we took the concept of Iron Man, we put it together into one suit with many capabilities. And I'm not talking about just like sitting or standing around or like squatting up and down. I'm talking about like real like lifting weights at the gym as you can see in this photo. And even rock climbing. That gym has a 2,000 square feet bouldering area. And although I was able to climb about like V4 or V3 in that suit, I decided to like just not like, you know, go around in that suit all the time because it was getting really hot in that gym. It's a really big gym and the aircon is not exactly, you know, helping a lot. So I took off the suit and I climbed just in a helmet because I was already sweating from the inside out and that did not feel good. Not to mention earlier that day at the gym, we did win a $25 gift card at the gym during their Halloween costume contest. And it probably wasn't even close because, you know, I am Iron Far after all. So you're probably wondering right now, how did I make this suit? And like, what material did I use? Or like, how much did I spend on it? Well, the answer is simple. First off, I used a cosplay material called Eva Foam, and it's most commonly used for like armor, you know, armor type cosplay. And it's not really that expensive, like you can just buy it on Amazon for like 10 bucks or so, but I took a cheap route, I went to Temu, and I bought it for like $5, and well, I chose the overseas shipping, which took a while, so yeah, I could have gotten it done faster, and honestly, I was just like panicking to get it done before Halloween, so I was up all night on the last day of Halloween just getting the legs done and you know, adding the straps and all that, the repulsors, so yeah, learn from me, don't order things last minute, especially during the season. Anyways, this armor was made of EVA foam, and well, to the connected pieces, we had, you know, super glue. There's really not much else that you could use. Um, I know the other guy that made this armor, I think they made it out of cardboard or something like that, because it was more smooth and also it just looked more like they used another f like glossy film on it to make it look more metallic. I used metallic paints. I just bought it from your local Michael store, something like that. If you guys, you know, want to know what I'm talking about, um, their suit was pretty cool. I gotta admit, like they painted it red and gold, just like the real Iron Man. So I decided to make a counterpart to it, mine, and I made mine blue, but also added the unit beam and the repulsors as well. Now mine doesn't have the wings or the jetpack on the back, and I'm still thinking about adding a missile launcher on the left or right wrist that works like one that actually shoots. I've got a few ideas of how to do that. However, um, I decided not to add the wings yet because putting the suit on is not exactly the easiest thing. Also, um, if we were to add wings, I would want to make it detachable because it would not be very, you know, helpful to, it would just be inconvenient, let's just say that. So detachable wings are going to be a challenge, but again, this suit is just my first model, so I want to make some more improvements in the future, and I'm definitely going to do that. And you're probably wondering, how much did it cost a total, or how much is it worth? Now if you go on eBay, there is an Anubis Far skin, uh, like the armor for it, that's selling for about 2.8k. Um, mine doesn't have wings or a jetpack, and mine has electronics on it. So I would probably sell mine at like the low 2k range, because this did take a lot of time. And this one, you know, it's a big suit of armor. A big suit of armor is going to cost a lot. And it's like, I had a 3D model for like, you know, printing out the templates and all that. So that, you know, the 3D model itself was only like 20 bucks. However, like, if you want to 3D print that, that's a different thing. That 3D printing of full suit of armor is going to cost at least like four figures. And, you know, I decided to save money on that part. Even though it'd be cooler to have like a plastic suit of armor. Although it might be, you know, a little bit hard. There's, you know, downsides to everything. Um, the cardboard armor that the other person made, like I said, was pretty impressive. And they also had a template, uh, but I feel like that one probably would probably be worth around like, you know, the 2k range as well. Uh, it's just, you know, this stuff is really impressive. Like kids only like dream of making this stuff and I was really proud of my work in the end, you know. I've like thought about making it like a suit like this when I was younger, probably in like middle school. And I realized now, well, 
3D printing is expensive, so now I have an alternative. I just found out about Eva Foam, and here we are. So the reason why I chose Eva Foam as a material for this cosplay is not just because it's just made for armor, but also because it's more flexible, it's more durable and lighter than you know most material that is used for armor, and also. Um, People ask me, like, do you wear a suit around? Only in a helmet sometimes. I mean, putting it on is hard. And I know, walking around, it gets hot. Because, like, if you stand outside your Halloween, it's cold. But with the suit on, you're not going to feel a thing. And the armor doesn't get cold either. So I honestly want to test the limits of that. You know, how do you solve the icing problem? Well, I use foam. That's how. Um, yeah, you won't catch me, like, going to Ranch 99 or Costco in the studio armor. But, you know, if I do, like, wear the suit around for content, it will be for, you know, better options so like going to the gym buying donuts or whatever but um yeah that's my style of content now so a lot of people also ask me like what are you going to do with the suit after halloween like what are you going to do with it well first off i did buy donuts with it you know dude it's like an iconic scene from iron man where um you know he bought the donuts sat on top of the donut which we did get a scene of on my rooftop because there's no giant donut hole on top of krispy kreme but it was fun and that's exactly what i'm probably thinking about doing my friends have been telling me to go to the graduation parties during high school as Iron Farah. Um, they even told me to go to prom with a suit on. I mean, the possibilities are endless, right? I went to a gym with a, with a suit on. So I feel like I should probably do more of that content. I mean, it's really fun and engaging uh, just wearing a suit, like not during Halloween and just going places, you know, I can eat at a restaurant, go to the gym or whatever. But I feel like that's going to be my style of content, like, it, because the suit is just plain impressive and it's been getting me some more viewers and fans and all that so I feel like this is where we're headed also like this suit is going to last for a long time I'm going to make more upgrades to it and honestly on the long run I just want a house with you know maybe like five or six of these suits all in glass containers in the basement so you know I can always expand on this idea and honestly in the future when I get enough money and I probably will um, I'll probably invest in a jetpack for 300k and make a flying bar suit with a 3D printed titanium, and it is possible. So, um, it honestly is just, it's gonna be a really cool idea. That one, no one has ever dived that deep into making a Fara suit. I have seen Mythbusters make the Iron Man suit fly, but you know, no one's ever thought of making a Fara one, and it is a very intriguing idea. So, I'm definitely thinking about that, and you know, definitely think about, you know, the whole suit of armor, like Hall of Armor thing in my basement as well. That's gonna be a fine addition to my collection. And honestly, like continuing this content, you know, going everywhere with a suit on, going to my friend's graduation or whatever, this honestly just sounds like a really, you know, sounds really great idea for content. And on the long run, hoping, I'm just hoping that like Blizzard, you know, sees this and uh, I would, honestly, if you guys have seen the Overwatch Instagram account lately, not just like the tracer hacking the account and like posting memes and all that, but the recent posts where they posted like the cosplay and all that, like who find the mannequin or whatever that was, I think. Um, I've been just pressuring them non-stop to like, hey, you know, you know, you could use an extra Farah. That's the Raptorian suit armor that I've seen in that video. Uh, that's not honestly the cool skin. I think you could use someone with a Unibeam and Repulsors. So I'm just honestly hoping that, you know, I want to get a chance with Blizzard as Iron Farah if I do this content more. So that's honestly a reach goal I want, but um, I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm going to try to find some like uh, way to spread you know, this whole uh, Iron Far thing, but so far so good. I don't think people realize how much the armor has changed like my like, you know, whole life around and like my content as well. But, you know, during the day when I finished the suit and I walked around and like bought donuts and all that and went to the gym, I have a lot of fans that want to take pictures with me now. So it was pretty much an enjoyable experience and that's partially why I want to, you know, take the suit around as well and make more content with it and, you know, this has been a huge W that we took, so honestly, I just want to continue this business here, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Lastly, I'm going to put all the pictures that we took with some fans that day in the video as well, because I did promise to do that. And I know I said earlier that I would say, I, that I would say like my suit is worth over like 2k, but the thing is, I won't be selling the armor because you know these suits are like a part of me, so I mean it's my own creation, and I kind of want to like, just keep it for future references, but. You know, I thought about giving it to Blizzard, but I kind of want to like make some more suits first. And honestly, yeah, I just want to keep my own like, you know, thing in the back. You can see my suits just hanging there. 
Sometimes I just walk past my room and oh my god, there's a human figure, and then just realize, oh, it's Farah, never mind. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of, right? So, um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, and also, guys, I almost forgot. Guys, when people recognize me in a suit and say, oh my god, are you Farah from Overwatch? No, I don't know who Farah is. Please, just say it right. It's Farah, alright? Say it right. There's a huge difference. I don't know who Farah is. Farah, Farah, see, you mean got me saying it wrong, right? Farah's real name is Fariha, not Fariha. That's why he called Farah, to be exact. That's why. So please, if you come up and ask me, are you Farah from Watch? No, I'm not. I don't know who that is. It's Farah. Thank you. I'm pretty sure we have those, yeah. Yeah, they make it. I like your mask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's the first time I've ever seen that in my life. I got a mask, except it's in my mom's head. Really? Oh, yeah, I'm watching you on yeah. YouTube. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> hi. You have two hi. on your here. Hi. <laughs> hi. I'm Iron. I'm Iron Farah. I'm the boss of <laughs> oh, Doritos, thank you. Oh, yeah. I get Doritos? Mm -hmm. I think the chips too, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, because whatever food is on fire or whatever candy, I take. I steal. <laughs> but I'm a superhero. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> 